Hi, I'm Aaron Stash with the Electric Home Show. Today is the day that we break up with the gas company. We are about to start disassembling our on-demand gas water heater and installing our brand new LG heat pump water heater. Should be a fun day. I'm Aaron Stash. Welcome to the Electric Home Show. To recap, we had an on-demand gas water heater that we're replacing after 11 years. We first had to turn off our gas from outside at the main. And then I'll spare you all the details of removing this from the wall, but we took this down so that we can get ready for the electric heat pump water heater. So we're making sure to position the heat pump so that we could actually get the anode rod out um, the sacrificial anode rod. If it fails, we have ductwork above us, so we wanna make sure that we can get into that. And while we're doing that, we're also gonna make sure, we're just gonna take a look at the heat pump inside. So here we're taking a look at the inside of the LG heat pump water heater. We took this apart so that we could understand how to change out the anode rod when necessary. But what was really interesting here was the reversing valve inside of this heat pump water heater, which would lead us to believe that the heat pump water heater could create cold water because that's what the reversing valve does is it changes it from hot water to cold water. So your heat pumps that we have outside have these reversing valve, which is what makes a heat pump a two-way air conditioner, right? It's not just heating, but it's also cooling, or it's not just cooling like an air conditioner heat pump. That reversing valve allows it to heat, which is what this is gonna be doing. It's gonna be heating up the water. So the anode rod then is in, is right here, and there's a there's a plug there, right? Don't be shy, okay. okay. So does that like screw in there? Oh, I see. If we're reading this later, somebody who's installing the anode rod is roughly, whoops, sorry, um, six inches from the right-hand side and then another six inches from the front. So it's six inches from the corner. The right corner is where your anode rod is located if you need to replace it, or I should say when you need to replace it. Um, the instructions on the LG actually say check it after six months um, and then check it every once in a while. Um, this is something new for us because we didn't have a tanked water heater before. Um, I don't think we had an anode rod inside of our tankless no, water heater. There is no anode rod. Um, so yeah, there you go. No Super helpful. And then we're just going to plug that back in. It's just a little piece of foam to put over the top of that space. And we're good to go. Um, we're just dry fitting all of our ProPress pipes into place. Um, say that five times fast. Um, over here, if you zoom in, you can see our um, recirculating pipe. We have a recirculating, a dedicated recirculating line already in our house. So we're connecting that to our dedicated recirc line. Um, it's just dry fit in there right now. And then if you come around here, you can see our dry fits of the other pipes. So we have our cold water intake down here. This is our hot water um, pipe. And what's going on is we've had a thermostatic mixing valve in between here. What that allows us to do is increase the overall capacity of hot water at the temperature we want. So we can set this temperature up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, um, but we don't want 140 degrees Fahrenheit water coming out of our taps. That would be very dangerous. So we connect it here with a thermostatic mixing valve that takes the cold water mixes it with that 140 degree temperature, and then we can dial in the temperature that we want to go to the rest of the fixtures. Um, this is recommended um, by the Department of Energy or one of the folks looking at overall home efficiency uh, from the US government. And so check that out. And it's also going to increase, again, the capacity of how much hot water we have. So this is 80 gallons. This thermostatic mixing valve, they do have a way of calculating it I want to say it adds 10 to 20, maybe 30 gallons of 
120 degree temperature after we turn it up. Um, and then we have a check valve at the bottom there so that the hot water doesn't go back in there. And right now we're just working out all of the angles uh, so we can put in our expansion tank and then connect everything up to the previously existing cold water and hot water lines. Expansion. Thermal expansion tank. So when you heat water, it expands. So this tank is a safety mechanism so that the water that expands goes into this tank rather than the tank itself expand. All of the pro press pipes, again, say that five times fast. Um, and now we're gonna press them in. So we marked them all to make sure that they're going in the right spot. And put that guy in there. And then it releases, makes a little sound there to say that it's in. Whew. This thing's a beast. So if you're a homeowner interested in a healthy, energy efficient electric home, reach out to us at electrichomecompany.com to schedule your free virtual coffee today. Now we're filling our water heater before we power it on. And here in the Chicago region, you can see that it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit coming in from the water main in April. Ooh. All right, we've got power. Hey, Aaron Stash with the Electric Home Show. We are here listening to our newly installed LG heat pump water heater. Inverter-driven. Inverter-driven, thank you. And... Uh, that heat pump's running, but it's barely noticeable. And I'm in a mechanical room, so nobody's sleeping here, so we're gonna be good to go. <laughs> so with our heat pump water heater, we've also used a recirculating pump. And we're using a recirculating pump from Taco, not Taco, Taco. And this is a smart plug that's connected to the pump that's on the other side. The smart plug connects to a thermometer that measures the temperature in the hot water line and then it tells this system and it learns our hot water habits when it should start recirculating because if it's 3 a.m and everybody's sleeping we don't necessarily need hot water recirculating through our pumps or through our, our pipes and so this will learn our habits over time and will recirculate potentially hopefully when we need it to now this is in heat pump only mode and we just turned it on. So it's gonna take in this mode about eight to 10 hours to completely heat up. Now, the water heater itself has turbo mode, it has auto mode, vacation mode, all these things we could do with it. But right now we're testing it in heat pump only mode because frankly, it's nighttime and we're not planning on using 80 gallons of hot water anytime soon. So let's see how it does. It's an all electric house. Thanks for watching. The Electric Home Show. Break up with your gas company. I'm Aaron Stash. Thanks for watching The Electric Home Show. Like and subscribe for more. So I want to recap some testing we did on the water heater after we installed it. You can see it on the time lapse video, but I don't have the testing equipment up right now. But essentially, we were looking at the um, supply air and the return air and measuring the BTUs and the kilowatts used by this system. Um, in order to understand the coefficient of performance or the uniform energy factor um, of this unit. So this is rated at 3.9 uniform energy factor, UEF, um, which is great. It means through thermodynamics, this is helping to produce 390% more heat than the amount of energy that it uses. So you can't produce energy, but you can change energy. So it's pumping heat and taking heat out of this room. With the way we were able to measure that is we had our meters up here and we saw that it was generating roughly 1.7 kilowatts of energy in just heat pump only mode. And we were only using, we had another meter on the side, four. 133 watts of energy. So when we divided that together, we get roughly 3.9 uniform energy factor, which is exactly what this is rated at. And this is the first day of use. So it's a pretty exciting to be able to test that out and verify that what the unit says it's going to do, it actually does.
If you're an industry professional interested in joining our network, reach out to us at electrichomecompany.com. Thanks for watching.